Okay, now that we've got the uh, roughing reamer all uh, finished, I'd uh, like to talk about my plan of attack and the uh, method I'm going to use to create the tapered hole. Um, the uh, large end uh, of the, excuse me, the small end of the tapered pin is roughly 3 16 187 5. 1875 thousandths and uh, the large end is is um, 7 30 seconds so it's basically a 30 seconds difference 30 seconds taper over an inch and a half a little more than an inch and a half so I've got uh, three drill bits out and uh, I'm going to be going from 11 64ths up to 13 64ths so I'll be 1 64th smaller then you know I'll be taking a 64th of an inch out with the reamer so basically 15 thousandths so um, what I'm going to do and I've already done this in a piece of UHMW and I've gotten fairly satisfactory results. Um, I can force it down, you know, past the point it's supposed to go because this piece isn't actually a, 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 a you know, you can see it's not as long as the pin, obviously, so it's not an inch and a half long. Uh, the piece of steel that we're going to be working on is an inch and a half diameter and we're going to be going in sideways on that I'll show you that piece here in a moment um, so I've checked my bar Z industrial chart and showing 3 16th at 1875 so I'm going to take that down below that to 11 64th and that will give me you know um, an allowance to ream and get the hole uh, you know take the steps out of the hole because we're gonna have to put little steps in there and uh, so I'll be taking each drill bit to a certain depth. You know, I'll take the uh, the 1164s to full depth all the way through, and that'll give us uh, you know a hole all the way through at 171 thousandths. Theoretically, it's probably got a little bit of run out on this drill bit. I uh, ran it before, so we'll see what we get. Um, and then, you know, 1364 will be the top end, and so that's going to give us 15 thousandths to, to ream. And uh, it worked fairly well on, you know, once I, once it started cutting, it, uh, it worked. But, you know, there's no lubricant on the plastic, but <laughs> with plastic it should cut pretty easily. I have some stress proof, and I'm hoping that that will give me... Uh, Give me a fighting chance at getting this done, but uh, we're going to investigate together. And so let's go on over the drill press and uh, we'll chuck up our center drill. What I want to do is I want to take this center drill out to um, the actual finished diameter of where I want the pin to land. So, you know, 218 thousandths. And so I'm going to find that diameter on the, uh, on the taper here. And because uh, this is a... Uh, a 3 uh, pilot on this and so I'm going to take it a little bit past not much I'm just barely going to graze it and put a chamfer on that hole and uh, and then we're going to go with the drill bits after that so uh, let's go on over to the drill press and take it away okay here is our uh, piece of inch and a half uh, stress proof at least uh, that's what I was told it was when I was given it uh, by our local machine shop. Um, and it seems to cut fairly well, so I have no reason to doubt that. Um, I have decided to go with a smaller uh, number three center drill so that I can won't have to freak out about getting the hole too large from the get-go. So here we go. Oh, I need my my trusty anchor loop 
I really do love this stuff. I mean, I know it makes a bit of a mess, but it seems to provide really good results. And you don't need to make a mess with it. You just need a little dabble, do you? But you do have to remember to get it off there before it dries or it's a real pain. And it can discolor some materials. Now the reason I'm doing this is, uh, A, I don't have a whole lot of material. I don't have any square stock. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of material uh, that's an inch and a half. And I don't really want to waste. I don't want to part off a piece and then blah, blah, blah. So I've got it in here a little bit unorthodox. But... I believe it will work, and so let's give her a go. How does that affect things? Mm, not so good. Now, uh, I ought to put a flat on this, but I'm not going to because I don't have any end mills. A lot tougher to cut steel than it is to cut plastic. <laughs> okay, let's see what that gives us. I've got a small chamfer there. And uh, it's pretty hard to get a measurement on that, but rough guesstimate. I don't know if I can keep it off with a drill bit. Okay, there we go. 196 thousandths. So that'll work. For starters, I didn't overdo it. I uh, had that problem with me, uh, with the the plastic on the first time around. So here's the center drill I used. Oh, it's actually a number four, excuse me. Or, I don't know. Yeah, it's a NR4 82 degrees from Spain. Works very well. I've used it quite a bit and it hasn't dulled at all. Now here's our 1164s. I'm going to go full depth. And I can go right through this because this is in, you know, the uh, the hole in my truck through hole. Now, this does not have flats on it, but I've learned that when you have a drill bit with flats on it, in order to keep from chucking it in there crooked, you bring the teeth just right under, the, right over the size, you know, that you want to tighten it down. You don't put it in there when it's really loose or else you're liable to uh, put it in there crooked and wrestle with it. So I'm sure many of you know that, but I didn't. That's yeah, cut nicely. These are not great drill bits, so that's a, a bonus when that happens. Okay, there we go. Oops, maybe not. I don't know. So it seems like my my drill press ate my 
drill bit. Thank goodness it wasn't breaking it off. It's using such a small bit in a this size chuck is always a challenge. There we go. Eureka! Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a minute while I change bits and I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm trying to try and show you what I mean by uh, putting in one of these three-sided drill bits. I don't know if this is gonna show up or not on camera, but uh, I'm sure you, if anyone's watching this video they know what a flatted shank drill bit is so what I do is I just adjust the uh, chuck to right so it can't go in any other way that's really how I'm doing it that's the easiest way to say it I have the drill bit marked so that uh, I won't go in too deep Boy, these have quite a bit of run out of them. That's what Chucky wants on his Christmas list. It's some good drill bits. That is one drawback of anchor lube is you can't see through it if you move your your work. So we're going in two thirds of the way with this bit. And we'll be going in half an inch or one third of the way with uh, the 1364 right there I should have known I have it marked Try not to move the chuck this time. go yeah these are cutting great though I love this material it's doesn't stand up much to high-speed steel it's drilling so well I want to keep going but I know I gotta stop so okay we've got our hole drilled I'm gonna take this over to the workbench and uh, with this chuck on here, I don't believe I'm going to have to uh, put it in the vise, but if we do, we will. It actually may even be easier in the vise. So, we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is take this bit out so I don't break it. Okay, let's get over there. Okay, uh, we've got the uh, tape, uh, the uh, roughing reamer in there. 
And uh, what I aim to do next is uh, check uh, the diameter of uh, the hole at the top. See if it's changed any. And no, it hasn't. It's still 196 thou. And uh, that's good. That's uh, about right where I want it. A little uh, more than I wanted to take, but so that gives me a roughly 20 thousandths, 19 thousandths allowance there for reaming. So we'll uh, give it a shot. I'm going to continue using a. Uh, anchor lube as it worked very well on this material and uh, we'll go from there like I said it was a little tough going to get it started in the uh, in the plastic so I'm not all that confident about this but uh, it was rather easy to drill so let's hope once I get a bite we can uh, we can make a chip here. Wish me luck. Uh, hmm. Hard to get do this without getting in your light. Hmm. Let me try and rearrange the camera or the uh, the light and see what happens here.